So, who the heck am I? Uh, I was born in Oklahoma. These are Bitmojis. Who, who, who Bitmojis? That's it? Just four? I didn't know two. Higher. Who, who uses Bitmojis? Yes? Okay. So these are Bitmojis. That's a little character of me. It's a baby because I was born there. Get it? <laughs> Oklahoma. Okay. Um, when I was three, I like to say I moved, but I was three, so I can't move. My parents moved to California where I was raised, so that's where my heart is, um, and that's why I'm a 49ers fan, and that's why I'm not a Cowboys fan, so I, I apologize. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um, and then you're going you're gonna to hate me more. I'm also a Golden State Warriors fan because I grew up in the Bay Area. Thank you, thank you. What is this? Oh, pen or, or pads, anybody to take notes? Yeah, just raise your hand and Melissa will drop some off for you. So yes, I'm a Warriors fan and then in 2010, so most of my um, career or experience in sales came while I was in California and I was in mortgages. I used to do mortgages back in California. In 2010, I moved to Texas and I joined Capital One as not a salesperson, but kind of like a recruiter slash trainer slash anything Capital One may need for me to do at that moment. And so it was to kind of build the mortgage division. Um, and so started in 2010, Banu, I see you in the back, you're smiling. Banu also was at Capital One. Um, and so when Capital One exited the mortgage industry, if you don't know, newsflash, well, some of you might be like, Capital One was in the mortgage industry. <laughs> Yes, Capital One did mortgages, but they chose to exit the business late last year. And so that meant that I could either find a new role at Capital One, go to another lender and do what I was doing, or what I realized at the time I was reading a book called Designing Your Life, or Design the Life You Love, or something like that. And I thought, man, I've really had so much fun. The last two, three years at Capital One, I got to travel and I was training and I was doing this. I was talking in front of agents and helping and coaching. I was like, man, if I could do that every day, I think I would wake up earlier. I, I would really enjoy it. I really love doing this. And so some people are like, you're nuts. I hate to talk in front of people. Any, any of those people here? No? Oh, we got one or two. Yeah. Yeah, some people are just like, you're nuts, why would you do this? So, that's me dropping the mic and choosing to become a speaker. So it's funny, I go to networking events, some of you came up and asked me like, so, like, who do you work for though? Like, I get you're speaking, but, and I'm like, it's me, I, I'm, that's, I'm, I started my own thing, so I'm speaking now. And so when you tell friends and family you're gonna start speaking, the number one question is, about what? Like, what are you, what are you gonna talk about?